Hello there. It's now time to take a look further forward with our weather forecast and we'll look towards the beginning of October into the end of next week. For September, of course, for most of us, it has been very dry. And the reason is we've got high pressure settled to the south. So as these weather feed some short bursts of sharp and heavy rest for the next two or three days, some damp, drizzly, misty conditions in the south, some very windy weather through the night and tomorrow across Scotland. But the weather front, as it sinks southwards, does weaken quite significantly. Most of the showers will be heavy, though, across the highlands and the islands. But some lovely sunshine, given the fact that we'll probably see some of our first autumnal gales across Scotland. Scotland, it'll obviously feel a bit cooler than it has done during Thursday when we've seen 21 degrees. We could still see 21 in the south, given the fact that we've got that warm air around. And the reason that weather fronts are weakening as so they come south, as I mentioned earlier, is the high pressure, which is set to hang around into the weekend diverting most of our weather fronts further north and west. So still the dry emphasis for most of us this weekend with some warmth and the sunshine. But the morning fog's a bit of an issue and there could be a little bit of grass frost in central regions, for example, first thing on Saturday, where hopefully we'll have a bright start. But there will be some fog in the south at this time of year, September time, it's slow to clear. Otherwise, just a few showers on that weather front still in the south and also a little bit of patchy rain for the far north and west of Scotland and Northern Ireland. But as you can see for yourselves, 16 to 21 is quite reasonable. It's the sort of temperature we've been seeing this week, which is above average and very pleasant. That high pressure just about holds on on Sunday. Scotland and Northern Ireland, so perhaps a little bit more rain here. But again, there could be some heavier bursts over the hills. But for most of us, it's dry and it's reasonably dry and bright. The best of the sunshine in central and eastern areas once any fog clears in the morning and temperatures quite respectable once again. And I think that's the gist of this story is that we keep the southwest or indeed a southerly flow of wind. So things stay at least by day above average, but pulling in that southerly wind tends to push these weather systems out of the way a little bit early week. But it gives us the threat then of some rain in the south and rain in the form of showers potentially thundery heavy showers so yes they will give some rain but perhaps not for all mostly in southern and southeastern areas and keeping the weather fronts at bay further north and west but they do take tend to push in at times with their stronger winds as well but given some sunshine again at this time of year with that southerly foe we'll see temperatures getting into the high teens and the low 20s as we've seen this week the reason for the change to bring in some rain from the south is a buckle in our jet stream. We tend to pull in the southerly for a time early part of the week, but then midweek onwards it looks set to divert back to the north and west. That's where the strongest core of the winds are, if you like, driving our weather systems towards northwestern parts of the UK, which means that we'll go back to the setup when things are mostly dry and fine in southern and eastern areas, although there could be some fog by morning and some grass frost, but further north and west at risk of some heavier rain and stronger winds. So further ahead towards the end of next week, it's looking as if we'll only see a little bit of grass frost by night. It's